B2B lead generation. That's the topic today. I'm joined with Kazra. So what is B2B lead generation? So the B2B stands for business to business. Um, basically, you're providing a service or a product that another business would want, um, as opposed to B2C, which is business to consumer. So if someone is looking for B2B leads, which is business to business leads, um, where can people go to? So obviously you do have the likes of Fat Rank. You've got um, other, you've got a lot of services in the UK. You've got Checker Trade. Um, you, you've got Bark. You've got all of these different lead generation models. Um, obviously you can do B two B lead generation yourself. You've obviously got the likes of SEO, um, local SEO, PPC. You can even do some Facebook ads. P, um, you can do YouTube as well. Um, I think the, the, the biggest thing when it comes to B2B is actually having a strong online reputation. Um, so being present online, making certain that you've got loads of reviews, making certain that you've actually got a lot of testimonials. That's if you're going to do it in-house. You've obviously also got fat rank as well. Yeah, for sure. I mean, if you are a business owner and you're looking for B2B leads, I do strongly recommend going over to fatrank.com, filling in the form and seeing whether you qualify for the no win, no fee lead generation model. That is a pay on conversion lead generation model for B2B leads. If you don't, there's also a pay per lead model that sometimes we set up for B2B leads as well. But when, at what point does a business owner decide to use a lead generation company? Should they only use one lead generation company for B2B leads or should they be trying to generate their own leads in-house? So obviously the, the holy grail for any business is to generate your own your own inquiries. That, that, that should be like a long-term strategy that you're actually thinking of doing. Um, but alongside that, you should also be testing out two or three different lead generation companies. Obviously, we might be a little bit biased here, but we're, we're obviously going to say go to go to fat rank, but also go go and test out two or three different yeah. generation companies. Go and set up KPIs. I think that that's one thing to actually do before you even test out any lead generation company. Setting up some KPIs and say to yourself, right, okay, I'm, I, if, if I'm spending X amount, I want um, this amount of leads at this conversion rate, and this is what's going to cost me, and this is how much profit roughly I'm going to be able to make from that £5,000 that I'm going to spend or that £1,000 that I'm going to spend. Um, as soon as you actually have the numbers, then it's very easy to then sign up to, let's say, two or three different platforms and very quickly gauge who's actually giving you the best bang for your buck. Yeah, for sure. I think the big one there is if you are a business owner and you're looking for B2B leads, is trying to generate your own long-term in-house. It is the holy grail of, of a successful business. But going out there as well, not throwing all your eggs in one basket, going out to two or three. I'd probably even say go out to four or five different lead generation companies that supply B2B leads to start with and knowing that you've got to narrow it down to maybe the best two or three that's out there. There's many different B2B lead generation companies in the UK that you can use. Depends on the niche, but make certain when you are looking for the B2B lead generation company, that you're checking, have they got case studies and testimonials that they've already done it for your industry? I think that's very, very important because if they're looking to do some sort of inbound B2B leads or out-of-market B2B leads, if they've got previous experience in your industry, the quality would be so much better. 